Hello there, my name is Retro. The first time you see my channel, I use review character series, anime series, also big computer random. Now, before I actually start this, I have to say this whole video will be completely raw, will be out in a day, I'll delete out anything. Anything I say is basically be there because one simple reason. My company broke, I don't have the program to edit everything, so it's kind of jumbled here. Everything I say will be there. So if you hear me breathing, hear me saying something does not make sense because I cannot edit anything. So this is pretty one take, one shot. You see, here we go. Now today will be the final part of Pinky Blinky. Yeah, this series just sucks. But I do notice something. They actually tried. The fact you can see the first little clips at the very beginning of each episode, they actually have more creativity, more passion, in other words. They actually respect because that's usually what a YouTuber does. Always trying to be one up itself. Always trying to do this perfect edit or the perfect video or for perfect uh, kind of joke to begin and end a series. Especially one special episode this series that really sort of shines. I mean, let's face it, that really doesn't push the limit of this show. But one episode really stand out, it called episode called uh, Spotlight. This episode was pretty interesting because it feels so natural and real and makes sense. The whole episode starts, it's basically Pinky Blinky truly doesn't want to be followed by the cameras anymore. He try to push it to his friends. In fact, I tried to explain the director and the basically whoever recording this video of recorded this video to him say follow their friends because they have personality more person than me come on guys show them show them what they do and they basically stutter they also kind of argue with Pinky Blinky like this Pinky Blinky show it's to follow you and that in itself is interesting because the whole episode reminds how tiring it is to be followed by a camera trying to be happy trying to be always this mobile energetic kind of person to really get your attention that was a youtuber really is is always trying to give you this kind of hurrah trying to just in enjoyment trying to show you yeah i'm special listen to me kind of deal it feels so kind of crappy to do this every single day especially if you're a celebrity tv person the kind of real celebrity tv shows people are they just don't want to be in camera anymore they don't want to be themselves for a few seconds but pinky blinky can't but I love about all this is because it's sort of true. But the sad part is this show doesn't understand how complicated the sh the the idea of the show feels. I mean, every concept they bring in, it's interesting, but they don't usually have full potential. It's one of those things that, oh yeah, how you edit something takes a couple of tries. You could dedicate like episodes a bad day a good day a day you feel have you finished something super early you got nothing else to do but they don't really kind of go deep in it this this is one of the main problems any show trying to kind of copy that format oh youtube star how in real life no the whole show feels like maybe a seven year old believes a youtube star or any famous celebrity who has camera real tv show whatever you want to call it you think feels no, it's a little bit more difficult and frustrating. Of course, we do it for one super reason. It's because we enjoy doing this type of thing. We enjoy making videos. And that's one thing that Pink and Blinky lose that sort of concept. I mean, you, see, you can see the first part of Pink and Blinky. They truly under, kind of truly sort of understand this concept, sort of. But they never have the experience or the, at least the drive to do actually real videos to entertain people. You also retain that sort of quality. And they never go that de deep detail now words. But I like it once in a while they sort of understand in this one though episodes I have to recommend if you're still into it. Like if you're sort of into it, I'm sorry I have to repeat myself, it's because it's kinda hard to record when we're not stopping. I can't stop. So yeah, uh anything else, this series sort of tried, that's the best I can say it. But one good thing come out of this show is one thing is it actually finally is dead. Netflix kind of officially releases on their own webpage. Yeah, this is the final part and be no more parts. It will be no more anything. So I'm glad this show finally died. I also feel the writers sort of kind of tried the final part. They, yeah, they feel that kind of, yeah, we have to do at least something to end this whole series. Yeah, I thought I'd have this great ending episode for this crappy show, but no, they decided to do something not creative, not nothing about a YouTube star or a TV star or whatever kind of concept. It just left to dry. It's one thing I never understood that 
why people want to make shows about YouTubers over their TV people who have personality but never go to mini green kind of part. It doesn't make sense. It feels you need to hire someone who have been that life who actually explain to you how the show really feels. This show company fails multiple times. It did try. I have to recommend it. It did try. It actually is probably the closest one. Well, second closest. The really closest one is probably a show you never heard of. If you're at least raised in 2000, you may heard of called uh, Homemade Movies from the Adult Swim. That show is a perfect uh, YouTube star, real action life kind of thing because it really nails it down. Pick and Blinky is probably the second one because it tried. Yeah, definitely the best word, it tried. But um, luckily, this whole series ended. The good news is... We get Rock of My Life next month after this series ended. And I'm glad we going to have that show. I'm so excited to see that show. Now, I got anything else to say. Well, let's... Uh, no, I don't. I don't have anything. But I have to say one thing. I'm yeah, glad this show ended. I have to read it. I have to give it at least a 5. Uh, I should give it a lower ranking. But no, 5 would do. I enjoy it. I mean... If you've been here so far, let me ask you one question. How do you feel the show? This you, You're glad the show actually finally died? Finally, a definition of death. This show finally died. I'm glad it's dead. Oh, you did enjoy the show. Tell me about it. I got nothing else to say. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Have a wonderful day. Bye.